Well, how do there, Charms Desire, you Captain of the Steves. And today, Charms, for you guys and the Viewerverse, I've got some news. And boy, have I got some news. So Sean of the Murray has gone and posted up an emoji. Okay, so we've got this expedition running. The expedition hasn't got left long to run. But I'm thinking as soon as this expedition ends, we could be deep diving into a new update. Why did I use the word deep dive? Well, I think this emoji is actually a Greek sort of vase. It's got a certain name that I can't overly pronounce. But in Greek mythology and Greek meaning, it usually signifies the zodiac sign Aquarius, the water bearer. Now, as we know, that bomber boy has done a lot of data mining and has already put out there inside of the verse that we're going to get large stingray beasties. Three new underwater biomes. I'm wondering whether this means deeper ocean planets are coming into iteration. We also know that there's going to be purple star systems being brought into the game from that data mining and from that bomber boy. So I'm wondering whether there's going to be oceanic planets with deeper oceans. Also inside of the game files, it's been found that the deeper you go in these oceans, your oxygen might deplete that little bit quicker, making them more hazardous to traverse. We've just been given water landing tech for all of our ships, including our living ship. So if Hello Games didn't mean for us to land on these ocean planets, they wouldn't have given us that technology for every single ship. So I think that we might see oceanous planets coming into game. And I think that that jar or that vase emoji represents perhaps the update name of Aquarius. I think that would be sounds quite nice. No Man's Sky Aquarius. But there we go. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, if it isn't that, that vase is also a relic, an ancient relic. Inside of the data mining, we have also seen that there are relic planets that might be coming into verse. And that Bomber Boy has actually made a mod that lets you visit all of these sort of new biomes, the underwater ones, and this new relic biome. Not all the relics are textured, but it gives you an idea of what maybe we might come to expect to see on these relic planets. There's also a giant sort of traveller statue, like an Iron Manny type weird statue that's been found, covered in rust and sort of moss. I don't know whether it's going to appear underwater. I don't know whether it's going to appear on planet's surface. But that has really got me speculating on what that might mean also. So yeah, it could be deeper oceans or it could be the relic planets. It could be that we get in both. I really don't know. The questions I have currently is, is this Worlds Part 2? Is it going to be an update with Expedition? Or could this be an expedition that takes us into Halloween? And then maybe then we might see perhaps the Void Mother Law, and maybe Void Prime, and these purple systems appear around Halloween because those three underwater biomes look quite creepy and sinister. It's more fitting to Halloween. So I'm wondering whether this update might be maybe the dawn of Aquarius in a roundabout way and be an expedition that takes us up to a content update inside of October. I mean, whichever way Hello Games plan and want to push this out it's an exciting time especially when Sean of the Murrays himself says there's more to come and that's why they called it Worlds Part 1 we've also got an ARG that's been running around the Void Mother and just what sort of sway and influence the Void Mother has on our universe when she comes up against the Atlas now we've had three parts of that ARG delivered into game now I believe that was in Singularity and uh, Echoes. There was one other update which eludes me at the moment, but there was three parts to this ARG. We still haven't had part four. I think part four would probably be better penciled in around Halloween and Worlds part two perhaps may drop around now. So maybe this is Worlds Part 2, but if it was Worlds Part 2, I'm fairly sure he would have just used the world emoji again. You know? Let me know what you guys think inside of the comments. Sound off. I would love to read them. I did put something up on my community tab as well around this idea of Aquarius that I've just voiced. There's no real point in putting it up on as well. I could put it up on the screen so you can see what I'm on about. But that's had quite a lot of comments on there. 
So, you know, you can always put a comment on there, copy it to your clipboard, paste it into this video's comments section. Double commentage. Heck yes. <laughs> anyway, people, I don't think we've got long to wait. Sean of the Murrays over at Hello Games posted this emoji like at midnight on Saturday. I honestly don't think the guy's in the UK anymore. I think he's in a completely different time zone. But that, I think, holds a lot of weight to it. Normally, when he puts it live, like tail end of the week, Friday or Saturday, we usually see something happen the week coming. Now, sales are already on PlayStation. If we see the sales go live on Xbox and Switch and Steam come Monday, I honestly think we could see it as soon as perhaps maybe the, the Wednesday of that the week coming. That is, if this expedition ends before then. I mean, it looks like it could be penciled in to end before then. So, you know... I think it's going to happen directly after the expedition. I can't see them dropping an update during the expedition. For all those that are still in the expedition, it could make their game files go a little bit wonky, couldn't it? So that's what I'm thinking, people. As soon as this expedition ends, keep an eye out on the Steam depots. I think we're going to see a flurry of updates on the Steam de depots. Now, this, the actual PlayStation sale ends before, well, ends on the 11th of September. So I think it's going to happen between now and the 11th of September. It's not long. It's not long at all, people. You know, we're on the 1st of September now. It's 10 days or less we're going to see the update. So it's happening soon. So get ready. Hey, guess what I've done to get ready is because the living ship is slightly underwhelming when it comes to its weaponry and because it's the void egg and this new update is bringing in purple systems, which could likely be the void. I've gone to town and got myself a new living ship on my PC save just in case the living ships are quite integral or they get new up upgrades to their weaponry. I'm hoping if they do, they put in alien technology, something more organic and more in keeping with the living ship. Hence why I've done a whole playlist now for the living ship. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'll put a link up there. But anyway, people, I just want to tell you I'm super excited because Sean Murray has said you know, this update the world's part one there's more to come that's why they called it world's part one that's kind of why i'm super excited and if you don't know who sean murray is sean murray is the founder of hello games and he was the one that came up with the concept and idea for no man's sky so yeah it's a big thing when he tweets out this emoji when he tweets out the emoji we know there's an update coming and the actual emoji is usually either linked to what's in the update itself content wise or it could be namesake wise it's like origins he tweeted out an emoji of an orange because it kind of rhymed with it. Yeah, He put out a snowflake. That turned out to be fractal. He put out a robot, and that was Exomech. So sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. So this vase type thing, some people said, hold on, Captain Steve, it could be an urn. It could be an urn. Maybe we're going into the void. You know, Tartarus, the realm of death, Hades even. And I was like, no, there's actually an emoji for an urn. There's one that's an urn. This is definitely something different. It's got the dual handles. This is definitely a cool Greek link, I think, to the water bearer in Aquarius. But there you go. Sound of in the comments. Let me know if you think I'm wrong or if you've got another idea. Maybe my gut feeling, my initial feeling, maybe I've jumped on this too quickly. Maybe I haven't deep dived in my noggin and grey matter enough to see something you've seen. Let me know if you've seen something more tantalising. Till next time, people. Salute the mother. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Heck yes.